So what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today we're about to do something a little different today on this channel. My name is Dante. I did 10 years in prison. If you are new to this channel, you just happen to click on this video. And today I'm going to actually react to some most dramatic moments of all time. This is an A and E something I found on YouTube. I literally just typed in crazy prison videos on YouTube and these things popped up. So I found this video that I want to go just review pretty much. I was about to say talk about, but I guess I'm just going to react to it because like I said, on this channel, I want to do something different. Um, yeah. So without further ado, I messed that whole intro up. Let's get into this video and see exactly uh, what it's all about. Like I said, it's uh, an A and E court cam. It's like the most dramatic moments of all time. You can find it on YouTube yourself. Um, so yeah, so I'll, I will definitely leave the description to where I found this video in this description box below. But anyways, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and see what, uh, this is talking about and for the record before we even get started i see a pimple that is like on my face i've had pimples like all over my face lately um yeah sidebar so just ignore that now you'll probably be watching it even more yay <laughs> he's been on trial three separate times for this crime and has maintained his innocence throughout i mean i would maintain my innocence too <laughs> i mean what what would you let's bring the jury in his first trial in 1994 ended in a mistrial due to a hung jury. A 1995 retrial ended with a conviction for capital murder, and Viegas was sentenced to life in prison. After spending 18 years in prison, that verdict was thrown out in 2013 because of ineffective assistance of counsel. Viegas was released in January of 2014 wow. and has remained out on bond as he awaited a third trial. During that time, he fathered two children. Though the prosecution continued to insist on his guilt, there. <laughs> Let the record show this man came home with the life sentence over his head <laughs> and was out here making babies. That baby looked like she was about five, four, five, right? So he's been on the streets for a long time. He probably ain't getting no more trouble. Now he's just making babies. There was no DNA, no firearm, and no forensic evidence presented linking Viegas to the shooting. If the defendant will please stand. Within moments, he'll find out if he goes home with his family or spends the rest of his life in prison. Look at that face. <laughs> That's the face of, I don't want to go back. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at him. Look at him. I'm not trying to be funny, but at the same time, I am. But it's just like, wow. Yeah, boy, 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 that's life sentence. You got two kids, then been on the street, tasted freedom. What they gonna say? In the district court of El Paso County, Texas, 409th Judicial District, the state of Texas versus Daniel Villegas, number 940D09328. Over with. Verdict form B, we the jury find the defendant Daniel Villegas not guilty of... <laughs> Okay, then, OJ. Y'all see OJ? I mean... <laughs> For the first time since he was 16 years old, 25 wow. years ago, Daniel Viegas is a free man. Mr. Viegas, you have been under many conditions. Wow. In this court, you are no longer under any conditions... In this court, <laughs> y'all hear that? Good luck, to you, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah! What? Okay. Now we head to Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, he flicking. Oh, he messed up already. Did y'all see him? He walked in flicking the people off. He did it. I don't even know what they. <laughs> I don't even know what they talk about, but he did it. He did it. He going to jail. Yeah, he did it. He definitely did it. Where are you from? Chuyahaga. I didn't even heard that place. Cleveland. He pleased court for the sentencing of he convicted serial killer Michael Madison. Madison's been convicted on three counts of aggravated murder for the killing and mutilation of three young women in Ohio. As part of the yeah, hearing, so Van Terry, the father of one of Madison's victims, steps up to the podium to make a victim impact statement. Mr. Terry's now just a few feet away from the man who so brutally took the life of his daughter, Sherelda. 
Right now, I guess we're supposed to, in our hearts, forgive this clown. We just touched our families. What? Taking my child. He's looking directly at Madison. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Boy, y'all y'all know I'm a wrestling fan. He just WWE'd all over that dude. Yeah. Splash! <laughs> Did y'all see that? I mean, it's not funny. The dude killed his daughter. All jokes aside, I'm not laughing at that at all. But I, mean, I probably would have reacted in a similar, similar way, just to be honest. Taking my child. I mean, he's looking directly at Madison. Yeah, one more time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And dude laughing. See? Oh, man. Look at him. Look, he's going to be smirking. You see? He smirked. Yeah, um, in all seriousness, I ain't got no kids, but I do now. But if somebody, ooh, boy, 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 we ain't even gonna talk about that. Because that's, that's real life. And that dude shouldn't even go to jail and that him right there, that dude, I gotta learn how to, him. Van Terry is released he shouldn't, without charge. nothing should happen to him. Yeah. A short time later, County Judge Nancy Mc... Y'all heard that? They said he was released without charges. See, sometimes the system works unless you're screwing people like me. But I mean, sometimes the system works. Donald hands down Madison's sentence. Michael Madison is sentenced to death and will now live on Ohio's death row. It's crazy. He'll be sentenced to death, but still probably live another 20 to 30 years. It's, 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 I don't know that i mean I don't, I don't i don't know how to wrap my head around that we start things off at the russell and wayne county's family court in kentucky for a hearing on a domestic violence order kentucky. filed by his husband against his ex-wife you and the respondent were married in the past and have children in common correct yes, sir. and were the statements you made in your petition true and correct at that time yes, sir. are you willing to make those statements part of your sworn testimony here today yes, sir. and are you asking the court to to be honest, I have no idea what's going on, but I just know he's saying yes, Your Honor, a lot. Enter an order restraining the respondent from any contact with you. Yes, I've taken your statements in your petition as part of your testimony, but I need you to tell me briefly, in your own words, what happened to cause you to ask for a domestic violence order. Yes, Your Honor. Um, <clears throat> things have been escalating, I guess, since the first of the year. And uh, Melissa's had a couple of MIWs and a couple uh, arrests, and she got out of jail, and I guess April, and she started, she started, we hadn't really had anything personal up until that point. She got out of jail in April, and she started. My personal life is no, no. business, right? has nothing to do with Miss Hardwick, boys. No. you will be held in contempt of this court if you I become don't, disruptive. I don't care. I haven't done anything to this court. I haven't done anything. <laughs> Oh, let's rewind. She was like, you gonna be held in contempt, <laughs> of course. She was like, I don't care. <laughs> I haven't done anything to this court. <laughs> oh, the responses people give. Okay. She will be arrested for contempt of court. It doesn't make any difference. You will serve uh, 10 days for contempt of court. You go now. Oh, Lord. Oh, I gotta rewind that. I didn't even see that coming. I did not see that coming. Oh man, she tried to kill her. Make any difference. You will serve uh, 10 days for contempt of court. You go now. I will. <laughs> oh, I bet you care now, don't you? Oh, you heard what she said. Eh? Wait to see. After spending nearly five months well, in jail, really like Melissa ten minutes Hardwick in, boy, this guilty is... to intimidating a participant in a legal process. <laughs> She's she like, avoids any further jail time by agreeing to a court-ordered diversion. Or how are you gonna be in a court for domestic abuse? Try to attack the judge. <laughs> oh 
man, I might do like a world's dumbest rehabilitation. Criminals. World's dumbest criminals next or something. Let me, let me fast forward a little bit because I, I really don't care about <laughs> what else is going on in that. No, I'm not. I'm not under oath. I raise your right hand. Want to swear in? I'm not under oath. That's your bad finger. I didn't appreciate that. So you're going to threaten me like you did the other day? Threaten me to participate here? No, you threatened my life the other day. Oh. I am not under oath. This is being done unconstitutionally. You all took my kids unrightfully. You won't allow my witnesses here. You won't allow my paperwork. Y'all took all my court paperwork. No, oh, man. We haven't started the trial yet. It doesn't matter. You still deny it. You want to take my kids from me and act like that? You ain't that bitch. <sighs> Let the record show. <laughs> I didn't know there was going to be that much cussing in these videos, <laughs> but I don't care because <laughs> it's emotion. People get emotional. I mean, I don't know what's going on, but he wants his kids. Can we fault a man who looks like this but want his kids? Can we? Really? Can we do it? <laughs> to I guess give him some oral sessions <laughs> and the dude was like yeah I prefer not to <laughs> nah, today I'm I think I'm good on that I I, I prefer not to we, we, we'll save that for next time okay how about that <laughs> oh man you can't make this stuff up for no do you want to be here or not oh First of all, this dude said, can I get, can I get some more water? Can I, get, I need some water. I'm not done cussing y'all out. <laughs> Excuse me. Parched. I need just a, a few more sips to get on your ass. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm about to um, take a sip and tell you how I feel. And the court probably did it. Can, can we get him some water, please? He's parched. Yes. All the obscenities. We need to refresh him. <laughs> I swear. Next, we head to the S. James Foxman Justice Center in Daytona Beach, Florida. The woman being Cook. sworn in is 18-year-old <laughs> Keandria Cook. Cook. Okay, disclaimer. I think I've seen this one already. This girl, should I spoil it for you? No, I'm not going to spoil it for you. But just to let the record show, I think I've already seen this one. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Cook's in court today to receive a sentence for using a dating app to set up a robbery right, that ended we, uh, with another teen being shot. Spaces. The we teen survived. Right. Cook has accepted a plea deal that will drop a conspiracy charge, which carried a maximum penalty of life in prison, but counts of carjacking, attempted carjacking with a deadly weapon, and felony battery are still in play. All right, come on up, Miss Cook. You get to say the final words. Maybe I didn't see this one. I thought the one I saw, she she helped some people kill some people. <coughs> I'll tell you in a minute about the face she made, because that's how I know if I seen it or not. Because <laughs> the one I saw, she made an ugly face. But we'll, we'll, we'll get there in a minute. I just want to say that I am sorry to be wrong. That her son is 
Because I didn't even know he was going to get shot. Um, my boyfriend and his friends get threatened with two years. I didn't even know what was going on until it was, I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. I just want to say that I acted up with the kids in this place so I get a chance. But I mean, I, I, I can relate to that. You know, if she truly and generally didn't know what was going on or maybe she found out like right in the moment, sometimes you're like, you get caught in that moment and you're like, I'm here now. Like, what am I supposed to do? Go, go call the cops or my friends or like, you just hope you get out of that situation, go home and make it through and never have to put yourself in those situations again. That's what a lot of people realize. I mean, a lot of people end up being in those situations who didn't want to be in that situation. They just hope they make it through and then hopefully they can come out. That's why you get a lot of people who get them hands of one is the hand of all charges or the accessory after the fact or accessory before you know what i'm saying because a lot of people just in certain situations and they're like what can i do but anyways so i can get out and finish school and i can keep my mama proud and i can get my kids proud Make mama proud. Cook now prepares to hear her sentence. As her loved ones look on. Ms. Cook, you're before the court for sentencing. A couple of things uh, going in your favor. One, you didn't hold the firearm during these episodes. The, the second is that um, the victim uh, luckily survived. That being said, this was uh, intentional. It was an orchestrated ambush, and you are a main part of that. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and adjudicate you guilty of all three charges, sentence you to 20 years in state prison. Yeah. Concurrent as to the first two counts. The crying you hear is coming from Cook's mother. The sentence much more severe than they expected. Oh yeah, this is it. This I'm sorry, I had to pause right here because that's the face I remember. I thought she did something. I didn't know it was twenty years. But I think the face is about to get worse. <laughs> Hold on. We're not gonna laugh, so hold on. Let's get composure. Let's get our face right. Hold on. Let's see. Now look, okay. There's. I need to say this. I've been to jail. I've been to prison. There's times I put myself in those positions, and I deserved it. And I cried when I was in prison. Or you cry. You know what I'm saying? But like. As a whole adult, we know right from wrong. When we, before we do any of these dumb things that we do, we we know right from wrong. Now, there's that rare percentage of people out there who really do get caught up in some BS and just, I feel so sorry for them. But then there's that other, like this girl right here. You knew what you was doing when you were setting that boy up who got shot. You wasn't worried about getting your diploma and all the other good stuff when that boy got shot. You know, but now that y'all got caught, it's like, oh, I'm sorry. I mean, she probably did regret the boy getting shot after the fact. But again, that doesn't take away the boy still got shot. And we all have to deal with certain consequences. I got 10 years in prison and I don't feel I deserve that for the crime that I committed. But there's things that I got away with in my life that I never got caught for. So I do believe karma is a real thing. And I just had to lie in the bed that I made, even though the charge didn't fit the crime, maybe all the stuff that I've done in my lifetime did. So, you know, I mean, it is what it is. And I'm probably gonna have to make a part two to this because this A&E video is 30 minutes long and I'm not about to sit here for 30 minutes and just make one whole video. This reaction video will be seven hours long because I like to talk and ramble too. Oh no. It turns out that Cook and her mother <laughs> Because they believe the plea deal meant no prison time. Judge Foxman allows her to enter a new plea deal, citing miscommunication between Cook and the assistant public defender. Okay. As okay, so they thought, you know what I'm saying, there was going to be no jail time, so they decided to do another plea deal. That's what's up. But I didn't know this part, so I'm intrigued. What happens? As a result of that new deal? So I think he got good in here, and I think he got potential on the other side of that. Cook's sentence is reduced to 11 years in prison. Okay. Well, you know, charges assault. That's worse. Than, that's worse than what I did. She probably get out before I did. So yeah, she did good. She did real good. You have 
have the public, Mr. Where public defender Mr. Andrew Weinstock and his Chief client are appearing before Judge Andrew John Murphy. Which voice you hear? Defender, public defender, what do you want to do? Have they filed? They have. I'm not waiving. <sighs> All right, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? I'm not waiving. <laughs> you want to set up for trial, set up for trial. Judge Murphy to wants the defendant to waive his right to a speedy trial right, to to because the court's schedule's office. backed up. Weinstock isn't budging, and tensions are mounting. If I had a rock, state. I would throw it at you right now. You know, Stop a... pissing me off. Just sit down. I'll take care of it. I no. don't need your help. No, sit you down. know what? I'm the public defender. I have a right to be here, and I have a right to stand I said, and represent sit down. my clients. If you want to fight, let's go out back, and I'll just beat let's your go. ass. They both head to the hallway behind the courtroom, <laughs> just out of the view of the court's cameras. Okay, hold on. So, I don't know if I'm a good host or not, but I'm about to catch y'all up to speed on what's going on because we got a situation over here. So, apparently, the public defender is trying to get the speedy trial thing in play because he know that the system is backed up or so I heard and the judge is I guess the judge is having a bad day he's not going for it he called the man out back and he said he would beat him up in a court of law he's sworn in so the judge got the judge got to follow through so they went out back I want to know what happens believe it or not they get into a physical altercation until Judge Murphy returns to the courtroom alone. Thank you. I will catch my breath eventually. Man. What? How does a judge get into a whole fist fight and nothing happens? Or maybe I just stopped at, at before something happens. The judge called out the public defender and the public defender. He is a public defender. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these people have no training. They, they're public defenders. I mean, the judge, he might have some training because people really don't like judges. They probably need some all kind of professional trainings and fighting and public defenders you defend the public you don't this man just got a faux faux piece because he wanted to defend the public i commend that man for getting beat up for for felons that's commendable that's, that's very commendable in my eyes yeah, i'm an old man once judge murphy catches his breath he continues with the rest of the hearings without Weinstock present. Your choices, considering there's probably going to be a changeover in personnel, are setting it for trial June 9th, or if you were wanting to waive speedy, we would set it for July 15th. I would like to get it done as fast as possible. <laughs> that doesn't help me. The incidents investigated by the Florida Judicial Qualifications Commission who charged Speedy Judge John trial, Murphy with threatening 9th, to commit violence 8th. against an assistant public defender, engaging in a physical altercation right, with counsel, and do. resuming his docket while defendants were without counsel. The case eventually reaches the Florida Supreme Court, which orders the immediate suspension and permanent removal of Judge Murphy from his post. Okay. I think that's a good ending point. <laughs> that's where we're gonna end this video. And I think I'm gonna film part two right now. <laughs> but yeah, this 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 part one's over with, guys. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section, and we'll do more reaction videos. Well, we're gonna do those regardless if you like them or not. <laughs> but leave comments because I need your help. I need your help. Road to a thousand subscribers, uh, and it's all with you guys, with all you guys' help. But anyways. I had a good time really recording this, but yeah, let's hopefully, let's hope that it turns out good or whatever I'm supposed to say right there. So thank you guys for watching the channel as we reacted to some dramatic court scenes. 
<laughs> yeah, I had, I had a good time, to be honest. So maybe I need to do this more often. But anyways, thank you again. Make sure that you bless somebody today, because I promise you I'll bless somebody tomorrow. At this point in time, your boy Tay is out.